All right, we're moving into module 10. And what I call food fast versus fast food, surviving pit stops and really putting things into, into practice because we could talk all day about the different nutrients and foods that people should eat, when they should eat it, how they should eat it. But at the end of the day, you know, having worked with athletes over the last almost 20 years now, I know that they're going to be going to fast food. And a lot of times, depending on the, the sport, a lot of times coaches will stop at a restaurant, fast food restaurant, they'll ask me, what are some of the better options? So let's, you know, let's be realistic and look at some of the quick, easy options that are higher quality for these athletes when they're making stops. Because remember, when you're, advert, when you're talking to athletes, talking to coaches, we want to make sure that we're giving them the best information possible that's realistic um, for the goals that they have. So planning ahead is key. Travel is a part of every athlete's life. That is important to know. They're going to be traveling. They're going to be on the road. And with, you know, when the coach is stopping with 30, 40 kids, there's going to be fast food, believe me. The key to success is planning. So pack foods that store well, pack foods that travel well, and pack foods that are eaten easily. That's really important. Honestly, it's no different than having kids if you have any. For us, it's, kids that travel, it's, it's foods that travel well, pack well, and aren't too messy. Ideas for, for some travel foods here. Granola bars work great. Trail mix, you can make your own. Of course, you could buy some as well, but you mix nuts and dried fruit, some pretzels, some whole grain cereal, perfect. Fresh fruit that travels well, oranges and, uh, and bananas, grapefruits that are very durable, all work really well. Apples as well, they don't need to be um, refrigerated necessarily, but they travel well and they're durable. Chocolate milk, I'd mentioned this one before, they make several products now that don't need to be refrigerated until they're already opened, but these are great for after a workout, before a workout, or so on. Sandwiches, certain wraps, peanut butter and banana, peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter and fruit. You know, our girls and a lot of the athletes I work with uh, love peanut butter with sliced grapes, with sliced strawberries instead of actually jelly. It gives them some crunch, but it doesn't need to be refrigerated still. So it's also very convenient and still gives them the high quality nutrition that we're looking for. Yogurt, depending on the needs, maybe not as portable, but if you bring coolers, this can work really well. Or cheese, cheese sticks. Um, a lot of different products out there that are prepackaged that can work well for the athlete who is on the go. And that's most athletes most of the time. To be honest, you know, I have a first grader and already she's starting volleyball, obviously at a very, very low level. We got the schedule for her travel and there's already travel games for, at that level. So we need to keep in mind when we think about this, we need to think about what's practical and what's realistic for these athletes. So some on the road items, I have the foods to choose, foods to lose. Freshly prepared sandwiches and salads versus fried. Some menu items with chicken breast or turkey breast, other sources of lean protein versus greasy burgers. Because those can sit in you and they don't feel as good in your stomach, especially if you're going to a performance after eating these. One to, one to two slices of veggie or cheese pizza and a salad versus maybe a sugary coffee drink. Low fat frozen yogurt, okay, versus lots of candy. Think about simple options. Are these perfect, the foods to choose? No. Are they realistic? Yes. It's much better to give an athlete an option that they can choose versus saying, no, don't eat any of these foods. Vending machines. These are a little bit trickier usually to navigate, but they usually have pretzels, sometimes granola bars, sometimes snacks made with nuts or dried fruit, animal crackers, peanut butter crackers. Those things are all options that could be Ones you can choose. Are they perfect? No. But again, perfect is the enemy of good. Keep that in mind when you're suggesting foods to different athletes. What about hotel living and eating? Now, again, working with a pro football team, they used to, I used to work with them for their athletes. I used to work with the hotel staff, used to work with the food staff to have these things on hand. Staying at a hotel offers a unique challenge. Very often we would call ahead of time, see what grocery stores were nearby. You could do that for the parents. Um, ask for one that has a kitchenette or at least a microwave and refrigerator. You know, you could make, you could get packets of oatmeal. Every coffee, every room has a coffee maker. Hit up some water. If you don't, don't have a microwave, put the water in the, in the oatmeal. You have oatmeal to go in the morning, quick and easy. Foods to pack are the instant oatmeal. Again, I just mentioned that one. Granola bars, trail mix, yogurts if you have a refrigerator. If you have a grocery store nearby, beef jerky works really well. Again, the trail mix, the crackers, cheese, all of those foods 
work really well for the athlete on the go. And there's going to be times when you're in hotels, you're in cars for a long period of time. So think about what's practical. Think about what's realistic. Whole grain cereal and dried fruit, get some milk at a local convenience store or in the restaurant at the cafeteria or the, restu the restaurant downstairs in the hotel. Again, think about what works for your athletes, what's convenient. It's just like if you're a parent and you're on the road traveling with your kids, it's no different. But be realistic with your suggestions and with your options. Some other restaurant living options. Again, instead of the burger and fries, grilled chicken and a side salad or a baked potato. Instead of a cob salad, which is very, very high fat, a garden salad with grilled chicken or shrimp or some other lean protein, lean beef, something like that. Instead of fettuccine alfredo, pasta with tomato sauce or olive oil with vegetables, chicken or shrimp. And, you know, I remember years ago, I was in college, actually, I was in grad school. And coincidentally, my cousin was playing hockey, ice hockey, near where my school was. So they traveled out to Massachusetts and my, my uncle and my cousin came out and we went to, the, to an Italian restaurant, just one of the chain restaurants that was nearby. And my uncle, I remember my cousin said, oh, what's... What should I, I was working with the athletes at the time at UMass, the grad school I went to. And he said, Chris, what, what should I order before my game? And I suggested this was it. It was an Italian restaurant. I said, oh, I'll get some pasta with tomato sauce. And my uncle said, oh, I'll just get the fettuccine Alfredo. That's what you like, Bobby. And I said, oh, maybe not before he goes on the ice. You don't want necessarily want 90 grams of fat sitting in your stomach. Think about that option. A little lean protein, some quality carbs would be great. And then again, the third option, or fourth option here, instead of nachos, get some beef, chicken, or vegetable fajitas, something like that. Quality carbohydrates with some lean protein, looking for those terms, grilled, baked, or broiled, are all good options to pick and choose when you're working with athletes, when you're talking to athletes and making suggestions. If they know where they're going to go, you know some restaurants, you could do this investigative work yourself, restaurants in the area, find the menus online and pick and choose some better options for them. They'll appreciate you giving them options versus telling them, no, you can't eat this or no, you can't eat that. In summary, athletes will be on the road at some point. Keep that in mind. Making smart decisions is the key to optimizing performance and recovery. And lastly, athletes can eat well to fuel their bodies for optimal performance wherever they are in the world. That being said, I will see you at the next module.